Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a look at the new Sanrio functionality in more detail and going over everything you need to know including how you can obtain all of the new content. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So the anniversary update is now available to download worldwide and will take Animal Crossing New Horizons up to version 1.9. The anniversary update adds a whole bunch of new content including new seasonal events, new custom design slots and features and of course the highly anticipated Sanrio crossover. The Sanrio crossover adds 6 brand new Sanrio villagers including Rilla, Marty, Etoile, Chai, Chelsea and Toby who are all based on well known characters from the Sanrio franchise. The crossover also adds over 90 Sanrio themed furniture and clothing items themed around each new villager. The sets consist of Rilla's Hello Kitty themed furniture set, Marty's Pom Pom Purdin themed furniture set, Etoile's Kiki and Lala themed furniture set, Chai's Cinema Roll themed furniture set, Chelsea's My Melody themed furniture set and of course Toby's Kettlepie themed furniture set. All of which come with their respective villager pictures and posters. Now before we highlight all of the different ways of obtaining these items, there's a few things you should know about the villagers themselves. To obtain the villagers you simply have to scan their corresponding Sanrio amiibo cards and invite them to your campsite. From here, with a little persuasion you can eventually prompt them to move to your island just like you would any other visiting character or amiibo card. Unfortunately using the amiibo functionality is the only way you can obtain these villagers and move them to your island. It is not possible to adopt these Sanrio villagers from other people's campsites or by inviting them to move to your island when they're in boxes on someone else's. Furthermore you will not encounter to these villagers on Mystery Island tours. It seems Nintendo has completely removed this ability to find or trade these villagers making the Sanrio amiibo cards the only legitimate way to obtain them. With that said there is some good news regarding the new Sanrio items at least especially for those who don't own or don't want to purchase the amiibo cards. Of course just like the Sanrio villagers the easiest way to obtain the exclusive Sanrio items is by scanning the amiibo. Once scanned you can order the corresponding villager furniture sets from the promotional tab at the Nook Stop or through the Nook shopping app on the Nook phone. However the daily limit of 5 orders still applies so it could take a while to complete the sets. Anyway the good news is unlike the Sanrio villagers it's entirely possible to own the Sanrio items without using amiibo cards. If you're gifted Sanrio items or trade them with friends or other players from around the world you can keep the sets for yourself and use them around your island just like you would any other item which is great news. However it's worth noting it's not possible to catalogue these items from another player and order your own sets from your own nook stop. So even if you attempt to catalogue someone else's items by picking them up and dropping them down again they won't be available in your catalogue like most other items are. The Sanrio items work in exactly the same way as the in-game posters. Again this is likely Nintendo's way of restricting the Sanrio items without locking them down altogether but still encouraging players to buy and use amiibo. With that said the villagers and their items are super fun and it's always awesome to see new furniture sets added to New Horizons. The reprints of these Sanrio cards are set to release on March 26th so in about a week's time. Pre-orders for the Amiibo cards are slowly going live with many EU countries now updating their websites and I doubt others including the UK, US and Canada are far behind. I highly recommend checking out AnimalCrossingWorld.com as they're actively updating their website when pre-orders go live. In the meantime be sure to check out the Discord server if you're looking to trade. So there we have it, that's pretty much everything there is to know about the Sanrio items, how they can and can't be used and how you can obtain the items. But what do you think about these sets? Are you happy to see new crossovers and exclusive content? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway for now that pretty much wraps up this video, if you're an Animal Crossing fan don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading a bunch of New Horizons news as and when it happens. Until then I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do i couldn't do it without you don't forget to head over to our discord server too and of course if you made it to the end of the video please comment sanrio just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include which sanrio set is your favorite i'd love to know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace